I'd like to set the record straight on this practice, this idea of cold water plunges or cold water immersion. For those of you unfamiliar with this idea, it's putting yourself, putting your entire body, uh, sometimes minus the head, but most of your body, into ice cold water. It could be a bathtub filled with many bags of ice or some similar vessel, but exposing you to extreme cold. Now, people have been concerned about the potential for hypothermia. That's not the concern. It is if you stay in that water for a prolonged period of say 30 minutes or so. The real risk is coronary spasm. And all that means is of the three coronary arteries that feed your heart. These are the arteries that close upon a heart attack. And then people die of this, right? If you have a heart attack, it already closes and the heart develops an unstable heart rhythm that doesn't support the heartbeat and life and blood pumping and you die. That's why people die, for instance, en route in an ambulance on the way to the hospital. That's due to closure of a coronary artery. So closure of a coronary artery is a very dangerous situation. When you're exposed to cold, one of the consequences can be coronary spasm that results in closure of the coronary artery. Having been involved in cardiology for about 30 years, and anybody who works in a cath lab, a cardiac catheterization laboratory, or a coronary care unit sees this all the time, coronary spasm. So let's say it's the right coronary artery. There's only three coronary arteries, the right coronary artery, left anterior descending, and the main artery, and then the circumflex to the left. So let's say the right coronary artery spasms and closes, which you can induce in a cath lab, you can induce with all kinds of things, including exposure to extreme cold. When the coronary artery closes, you start to have a heart attack, but even more so, you get rhythm instability. You get abnormal heart rhythms like ventricular fibrillation, ventricular tachycardia, or something called torsade, which means just, it's, it's torsade de point, French for turning around a point. It's an unstable heart rhythm. You see, by the way, all the time in, the, in, in hospitals, often caused, by the way, by lack of mag, uh, magnesium. And that's why intravenous magnesium is life-saving. But it can also be call, caused by cold exposure, extreme cold exposure. Not so much to air, because water is a better conductor of heat or lack of heat. So when you get into a cold water plunge or immersion, you can induce coronary spasm. And this occurs within the first minute or two. So people say things like, you'll even see on hospital websites, it's okay, test the water. If you're okay after 10 minutes, you're gonna be safe. This is absolute nonsense. Anybody who works in cardiology knows that cold, cold water, induces coronary spasm that in turn leads to unstable heart rhythms, typically within the first minute or two. This explains why there have been about a dozen, at least a dozen deaths from cold water immersion. So people who have been advocating cold water immersion have essentially been advocating a something, a practice that results in sudden cardiac death in some percentage of people. Now, sometimes it's very difficult to establish cause and effect. Remember the Adkins diet? Dr. Robert Adkins, 40, 50 years ago, a long time ago, advocated, he rejected conventional advice to reduce fat and saturated fat. He said, no, eat the fat, eat bacon, eat butter, just limit your carbs. Now, that, by the way, works. It's not the ideal approach to diet. There are better ways to conduct your diet, though that was a start of a better uh, approach to diet than the current low-fat nonsense. But people said, oh, I had a heart attack six months after doing the Adkins diet. Well, they claimed it was the Adkins diet because people still then and continue to believe, wrongly, that saturated fat is the cause for heart disease. Well, six months into a program, there's many other causes for heart attack and heart disease. So it's very difficult to establish cause and effect. Didn't stop people from launching lawsuits, of course, against Adkins. But when you get into cold water and you're 24 years old, say, and you die within the first three minutes, it's pretty easy to establish cause and effect, right? It's likely it was exposure to cold, but why? It's not hypothermia, right? It's coronary spasm. Now, there are groups of people more prone to coronary spasm than others, people with hypertension, people with high triglycerides, and uh, people, there's a number of uh, other conditions that lead to an excessive response called endothelial dysfunction. All that means 
is the internal lining of arteries of by coronary arteries determine whether an artery is relaxed or constricted. And it's a very common situation to have endothelial dysfunction and a propensity towards coronary closure or spasm. So if you have anything wrong, you ate an unhealthy meal, you failed to get vitamin D or omega-3 fatty acids, numerous other causes, you have uh, metabolic syndrome or insulin resistance, all these conditions lead to endothelial dysfunction and a propensity towards coronary spasm. You may not know that. You get into a cold water bath and you die because your coronary artery spasms, closes, and you start to have a heart attack, you get rhythm instability. This is not my speculation. This is established fact. So know that all those people who are advocating cold water plunges, cold water challenges, cold water immersion, are advocating that you do something that risks your sudden cardiac death. Don't do it, okay? So if you want some means of increasing alertness, concentration, well-being, there are many other safe ways to accomplish that. It could be meditation, it could be going for a walk, it could be numerous other things you can do that increase your emotional well-being. You don't have to risk dying. Imagine somebody told you, do this diet, and you say, what's the risk of that diet? Well, there's a chance you could die of it. He wouldn't do it. Then why are they advocating that you put your body into cold water and thereby risking carnage spasm, sudden cardiac death? Don't do it.